right then, so I am out here with a 2022 Mini John Cooper Works Clubman. And this one is just incredible. For starters, you'll notice the 19 inch circuit spoke wheels. You'll notice all the piano black trim accents, like the door handles and the badging. You'll notice when you go inside that it has the John Cooper Works interior. And the amazing seats up front. Navigation. And if we flip it into sport mode right here, the ambient lighting changes to compensate. As far as features go, this car has the digital dash, which is standard across the line. It has navigation, which is not standard across the line, but it works really well on this. It has the iconic package, so it is loaded to the gills. It even has Harman Kardon sound system, panorama sunroof, and frozen blue dash trim. It also has the new steering wheel with heating function, so it is a heated steering wheel. But this is just... It's an incredible car. I love the JCW seats, especially in the Clubmans. They're really, really comfortable. It just, you just feel like you're part of the car in this. I really like it. <sighs> I'm gonna have to trade my car in now. <laughs> Under the bonnet, you have the B48 motor with 301 horsepower, 331 foot-pounds of torque. This is an incredible motor and it pushes this car to 60 miles per hour in about 4.6 seconds, which is quicker than a GP3 and quicker than a John Cooper Works Countryman. Well, with the all four system, who wouldn't want that? Hmm. I'm seeing no reason not to buy this car. And that's not a good thing. Well, it's a good thing if you're a dealership. You'll also notice that they did the same headlight treatment for 2022 that they did on the hard tops. The black interior of the headlight, reminiscent of the GP3. Very sleek looking, very sporty looking. You'll also notice that they added grills to the auxiliary coolers to prevent punctures. This seemed to be an issue that was affecting early runs of the 2020 JCW Clubmans and they finally resolved that. Any car that has been having that issue, they've been fixing with this solution. And they also have an air curtain thing going on right here as well, similar to the hard tops, and of course brake ducts. Along with a lot of these new upgrades, they also have lane departure warning, not lane keep assist, lane departure warning. It will tell you when you're leaving your lane but it will not keep it in your lane. That's your job to keep it in your lane. It'll tell you if you're departing it though. Um, it also has adaptive cruise control with stop and go function. This does have a lot of great stuff to love. And uh, I gotta get out of this thing before I uh, decide to find a way to spend 50 grand. And with this car, it's pretty easy. But honestly, the coolest thing about this car for me is this multi-tone roof. Now, it's available on the Clubman and on the hardtop. It's not available on the Countryman, and that largely has to do with the fact that the Countryman and the convertible are built in the Netherlands, whereas the Clubman and the hardtops are built in the UK. So the plant has the ability to do this on all the cars that they build. So this one has a beautiful multi-tone roof. Now, as I said before, no two multi-tone roofs are alike, and this one is no exception. It looks really good. I wasn't sure I would like it with the sunroof, but because the Clubman's a bigger vehicle, it does work, and it works incredibly well, especially with the enigmatic black paint job. It just seems to make the whole thing really stand out, and someone's gonna want this car. This is a beautiful car and you um, better buy it before I do. Because I really do want this car. How could I do it? 
But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like below. Don't forget to comment. Check out my playlist at the end of this video for all things John Cooper Works. And someone please buy this car before I do. But until next time, I'm just gonna remind you all that life is too short to drive a boring car. So, um, drive a Mini. In fact, I'm gonna find a way to go take this one for a drive maybe. But hold on a second, I'm getting a phone call from the sales manager apparently. Well, stand by. Hello? Yeah, okay. Well, someone bought it, I think. They might be buying it, but oh well. I'll see you all in the next video.